He started his ministry. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And that defined him. He remained in his father's love as a son. In the middle of economic turmoil, it was terrible economic times, right? In the middle of horrible political mess all around him. In the middle of threats on his life. In the middle of even sometimes his disciples um, arguing, right? People leaving, sometimes they love him, sometimes they hate him. None of that he was a slave to. He was not a slave to the political system of the world. He was not a slave to temptation. He was not a slave to the religious people. He was not a slave to the fear of man. He was so rooted in remaining as a son. I am a son. I have a father. When they got hungry and they needed to buy bread, you have food that... I have food that you don't even know about. And they're like, did he go out and buy bread already? Like, who got the bread? Did he get the bread? You were supposed to get the bread, you know? He was so connected. He did not waver at all in the confidence of himself as a son with the father who loved him dearly. And he went to the cross as a son, not a slave. He went to the cross, you got to hear me, as a son, not a slave. He says, he says in John chapter 10, he says, no one takes my life. I'm not a slave to anyone. I'm a son. I give it freely. You can't go where the Father calls you to go. You can't be who the Father wants you to be as a slave. It's only as a son or a daughter Because when it gets hard, when there isn't bread and the economic situation is bad and the political news of the day is bad and it's all bad right now, guys, you'll act like a slave to those systems instead of a son and daughter dearly loved by a father who's got it. That is the key for not quitting. It's not whether or not I've seen the miracle. It's not whether or not this thing has worked out yet. The story isn't over. It's I'm a dearly loved daughter by a dearly, by a father who loves me and gave himself for me freely. He who did not withhold his own son, will he not give you all things? He broke open his body. No one took his life. He, the high priest, the lamb of God, presented himself as the lamb and said, break me open as a son. And we are called to nothing less. When I'm prepping for this sermon today, I'm not crying out to preach the world's greatest sermon. I'm stepping in. I am a dearly, I'm a dearly beloved daughter, and he is well pleased in me. It's all that matters. Because otherwise, I I serve and become a slave to the stage, or I become a slave to you and your opinion of me. And neither one is worthy of my devotion or attention, but my father. I'm a dearly beloved daughter in whom he is well pleased. I can do, I can live as a daughter the way Jesus lived as a son. I say what the father is saying. I do what the father is doing. I'm I'm with him. I am in him and he is in me. And there's nothing that can part me from the love of God. Otherwise, I become a slave again to fear. It's time to break up with fear. Fear. 